The key lesson from Netflix. As streaming services rise left and right, Netflix will be crowned as the leader that brought in the golden age of subscription video on demand. However, many leaders have found themselves firmly placed in the past as newcomers disrupt and take away their market share. Netflix's leadership is pretty much the same that put Blockbuster out of business. And that leadership has proven time and time again to be fit for navigating Netflix through a changing landscape. The first danger that Netflix faced was that it did not really have any of its own content. Through licensing deals gave the company the right to stream content from other studios, none of it was in perpetuity. In other words, Warner Brothers, Universal, Disney could eventually refuse to renew the deal and leave the platform with no content. So how did Netflix navigate this obstacle? The company started focusing on original programming as early as day one of shifting to streaming. Now the company is moving towards having 80% of its programming be completely original. Another strategic victory for the leadership of Netflix was when they successfully tapped multiple niches to get devout fans from different sub-genres. TV shows like Lucifer had a very passionate fan base, but it wasn't big enough to warrant a TV network to pour money into it. As you know, TV channels make money by airing shows and running ads, and ad revenue incentivizes the number of people watching, not how deeply they are invested. Netflix, on the other hand, gets compensated directly for the content, which means how deeply people fall in love with its content counts. Netflix started rescuing canceled shows by giving them a last chance at producing a closure-giving conclusion to the series after their respective TV networks dropped them. Once Netflix realized how much this pays off, it invested heavily into talk shows and stand-up comedy, paying Dave Chappelle over $100 million to get exclusive content. As a result, the platform gained more and more subscribers. These seem to be different strategies on the surface, but it turns out Netflix has only been playing a single strategy throughout its existence. The moment Netflix became known for being a platform one can subscribe to for digital content, Netflix had to become something else because anyone can launch such a platform. Netflix decided to prioritize how much people love content, and staying in line with this strategy, Netflix does not compete with other streaming services. It competes with whatever online activity people love deeply. In a letter to shareholders, Netflix alleged that it sees Fortnite as a bigger threat than HBO or Hulu. If one likes Game of Thrones or another HBO show, Netflix can do little to convince that person not to watch. But at the end of the day, there is only a limited amount of time one can watch a particular show. Netflix can still grab the attention of someone who has watched 80 hours of Game of Thrones. But if someone is invested in Fortnite, he or she is spending that kind of time every week on the game. How Netflix tackles this will be interesting to watch, but the key lesson for you is to prioritize unique, addictive engagement over anything else.